You will know that we are in the festive season and we we'll want to wish uh, everyone Okismuzi Omuhle. And uh, in the main, the provincial chair was taking us into our final year statement. But as part of that, we have also reflected two new developments uh, in the province. With me, I'm joined by the provincial secretary of the ANC Women's League, Umam Zama. Next to her is the deputy chair of the ANC in the province, Usis Nomakuku, the provincial chair of the ANC, Mtombeni, and uh, provincial secretary, Ukomrete Pegimtolo, Ukomrete Usiposhomuga, Provincial Secretary Wek Kosatu, Uput Kabazela, Etuzegwa Put Kabazela, Uputum Tal, Etuzegwa Ke Ukomre Tunati, Mdala, Unopala. Wom Kondo Sizwe, a veteran liberation war veteran. It was a worker who provincial secretary where ANC youth league who come to Zama and the Nalewake who stand away ANC youth league and the Mumvas in provincial chapters in who come to Mutolisi, Wamasoja. No no pala we kosas. Agabunagalu no pala tu zwa no pala we kosas. Sino kumbrite uno pala we we sasko. We will allow the provincial secretary of the ANC who kumbrit langa manda to take us through the statement and then we will entertain question. No pala. No. Thanks very much, Ngwane, our spokesperson. Greetings, the leadership of the ANC, Women's League. Uh, ANC officials, uh, COSATU, uh, comrades from the MK Military Liberation War Veterans, Comrade uh, Youth League Coordinator and Convener, uh, comrades uh, from SASCO and COSAS. Uh, we wish to uh, Sincerely apologize uh, uh, for the delay. Uh, we normally, you know, we always keep time. Uh, a revolutionary greetings to you for coming to cover this uh, press briefing of the mass democratic congress movement. We also wish to welcome other media practitioners that are on the digital platforms. We express our reverent greetings to activists and cadres of the mass democratic movement in all the corners of our province, the province of KwaZulu-Natal. Importantly, our hearts are always with all the people of KwaZulu-Natal who continue to support the ANC, the only party that represents the hope and the aspirations and the better future of the people, not only of KwaZulu-Natal, but the people of South Africa. As we begin our press briefing, we wish to indicate that for the record, that is a briefing convened after a meeting of the mass democratic movement of all the structures that I've mentioned, which started this morning. It was robust, frank, and attended by representatives of the following structures of our mass democratic movement. The entire provincial executive committee of the ANC, regional officials of regional executive committee of the ANC, the South African Communist Party, South African Trade Union, Congress of South African Trade Union, 
South African National Civic Organization, SANCO, ANC Women's League, Youth League, SASCO, Young Communist League of South Africa, and Congress of South African Students. In our meeting, we reflected on the press briefing held by former President Jacob Zuma on the 16th of December, 2023. Sholuzi announced through this press briefing, without utilizing internal processes, that he will vote for a new party called Umkondo Wesizwe, and further campaign all South Africans to vote for this new party that he said it was formed through his knowledge and his blessing. By doing so, we feel that as the Congress movement, he did decampaign the African National Congress and effectively mobilized for a new party established through his blessings and knowledge. The party was established in, in September 2023 to oppose the African National Congress. We admitted in our meeting that leaders of the ANC, especially former presidents, have in the past voiced their concerns about weaknesses in the African National Congress. Former and current leaders of the ANC have publicly raised concerns about the shortcomings of the ANC leaders across all levels. There have been concerns as well about the quality of our membership. However, it should be noted with great concern that it is for the first time that in 111 years of the ANC's existence, a former president and an outstanding leader of our movement announces publicly his decision to vote for another political party and effectively campaign for that party, which we view as literally divorcing the ANC and leaving the ANC to another political formation. It is also no exaggeration to state that this is a form of cross ill discipline. But we remain a focus as the African National Congress in Wazulu Natal. We note Comrade Mshoulouz's uh, accession. We will continue to tell our people that the ANC is still the ANC that they've trusted since 1994. Nothing has changed. Of course, with the appreciation that every member of the ANC come as an individual member, join the organization voluntarily, and leave the organization voluntarily at his or her own behest. Therefore, we also note that this has happened at a time when the ANC in Wazulu Natal has been registering a great progress in winning by elections. Not only winning by elections, but winning them in a decisive victory. In various by elections that we have won, we can count among others the decisive victory that was registered in Ward 41 in Umsunduzi under Umkungunjov district, the by election that we have won in Ward 7 in Mkambatini in the same district Umkungunjov, the by election we have won in Ward 101 in Etewini, our stronghold, the by election we have also won in Renkonye in Ward 23. In all these by elections, it is a clear recognition from the people of KwaZulu Natal, our masses, who are the true assessor of the progress that has been made by the ANC. They have shown through their, from, through their, their, their uh, support in the ballot that the ANC still remains the hope and the protector of their future going forward. We hope that going to 2024, the ANC is still in a better shape, not only to defend the province of KwaZulu Natal, but to make sure that it contributes significantly for the defense of the revolution in the entire South Africa. But we also want to, the meeting has also wanted a uh, resolve to explain that uh, there must be a difference between the so-called Umkonto Wesizwe party and the well-known Umkonto Wesizwe that was launched in 16 December 1961. That the simple to differ in this Umkondo is a, is, a, is a new Umkondo Isizo and is not a genuine Umkondo Isizo. It's a party disguised to lure voters and members and loyal members of the ANC to think it's the same thing as the Umkondo Isizo that was formed by the ANC. You would know that for you to join Umkondo Isizo, you are required first amongst many requirements. The first step, you must be a guerrilla of Umkondo Wesizwe. You should have gone underground. 
you should have a force number. You should know your commander. You should know your cell. You should know your camp in the, in, at exile. Now for this one, because we've seen also their uh, recruitment forms, they recruit anyone, even my child, who was born in 2000, can be part of this new Umkondo Isizu. It's a clear sign that is, this is not a, a, a true Umkondo Isizu. It's a fake Umkondo Isizu. Then we're calling upon our people that Umkondo Isizu that is with us today is with the ANC, and they are not in any way campaigning the people to vote against the ANC. They will be in our, in our campaign, working with us door to door, village to village, street by street, house to house, and, uh, valleys to valleys, campaigning the, a the people of KwaZulu-Natal to vote the ANC. And we are happy with the reception we are receiving uh, to the from the people of KwaZulu-Natal that they still have hope in the ANC. And we will demonstrate this on the 24th of February, of February this year, when we will fill up Moses Mapita Statum in the my Shome rally that will be launched uh, by the African National Congress, we should be ad addressed by our Commander-in-Chief, President Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa, the President of the ANC. Thank you very much. No, no, thank you, uh, Comrade Unopala, for that uh, reflection which comes from uh, all of us in the mass democratic movement. We will uh, then take this opportunity and allow members of the fourth estate to uh, raise any question if they are any. I will start from my left hand side and then I will simply give you numbers. You will be number one, be number two, three, and then you will be number four. And number one. Hi, Paddy Harper, Melbourne Guardian. Two things for the question. Um, you say that the former president has divorced the ANC. Do you see a need for the party to take any form of disciplinary action regarding the offences that he's committed? Um, and secondly, how does this impact on his standing as an office bearer of the Sanko, part of the MDM, the campaign the MDM? And a fire cycle itself. How do the formations deal with that? Thank you. Thank you. Number two. Uh, my name is Busi Kumar from SAPC News. Uh, mine is almost similar to my colleague Kappa. It's about uh, any uh, disciplinary measures that the party might take um, uh, in relation to what has just happened regarding the Thank you. Number three. Uh, my name is Clyde Ndo from the Witness newspaper. Uh, we saw a few days ago the ANC Veteran Association Deputy President, Mabuso uh, Msima, announcing his resignation from the ANC, then a few days later uh, retracting his uh, termination of membership after engaging uh, the ANC leadership. Uh, in the case of former President uh, Jacob Zuma, uh, is the this current leadership here seated in front of us of the view that uh, there is room for engagement and for persuasion for him to reverse his decision? Thanks. Thank you. Um, Spamanda? Yeah, well, Spamanda, you are here to see a cross ill discipline. That's how you describe it, non Are you calling for expulsion of the former president based on that cross ill discipline? Number two, political analysts are predicting and saying the Sumkondoesis party is going to eat into the electoral support of the ANC in Are you worried about those predictions and prospects? Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll um, then um, allow um, uh, the panel, but uh, let, let me do um, this so that uh, we, we move. Uh, we'll take the question about. Uh, Ubab Mavuso and uh, other veteran and uh, give it to the deputy chair. We will come uh, with others. Deputy chair, uh, Ubab Mavuso. Ubab Mavuso, what is it? Who is it? Nile. How can the way it right? It's the same position. All right. No good. 
Afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, indeed, Comrade uh, Mavuso resigned. He was engaged. There were bilaterals between him and the African National Congress. And as we know, even before Uba Mavuso resigned, there were people who left the ANC and joined uh, other political parties. There were splinter organizations that came from the African National Congress. Majority of those people have were engaged even after they had formed parties and more than half of them have came come back to the ANC. So in terms of engagement, engagements are always open uh, even after people have left, engagements are always open and people uh, have always had an opportunity to come back. That is why as the ANC from time to time, we also go out and recruit because as part of our recruitment process is also to engage those that were members of the ANC but had left and engage them to come back. So yes, uh, uh, engagements will always be, be, be open, but that is something that will be discussed at a, at a level of, of national. I, I wanted to speak to the issue of Sanko. Yeah, uh, the, there's a question that says, what is going to be the position now that Ungamalala uh, uh, has indicated as he did on Saturday? I think Sanko is going to have its own uh, media briefing. They are an organization on their own. They will be having their own engagement and they will pronounce according to what their constitution says. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Chair. We'll call uh, the Deputy Provincial Secretary, Comrade Klomuga, to deal with uh, whether we are worried about uh, losing uh, election because of uh, a, a new formation. Oh, thank <coughs> No, thank you very much, uh, leadership uh, media from the media. We are receiving number of uh, members from the opposition. We are receiving from numbers from IFP, EFF, DA. That means the ANC is increasing. The pre PS, the Provincial Secretary, have uh, indicated in the statement that we have won what nine with decisive for what what one oh one at the tea winning. Uh at M Kambatini we have won our 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 word. I we can't be have a challenge with uh, numbers. Uh, even those that thought they are going to take over the province. Now they have realized that it's not what they thought it will be. Uh, in Mkambatini, the IFP received one vote in one of the VT. That shows that people they are rejecting the IFP is there in the IEC. I'm, I'm telling you what, what is written there. So if really uh, we are worried, we are worried in terms of if we lose uh, an, any member or any supporter to any organization, ordinarily. Be it is myself or it's other or whoever, but we are certain that the ANC is going to win a general a national and provincial election in the next uh, 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 year. So don't stress. We are coming back as an ANC. We are working as an alliance. That's why you see alliance here. Each and every component is mobilizing for the ANC. Uh, we are uh, commanded by the president of the ANC, President Ramaphosa. Thank you very much. Thank you, Comrade Deputy Secretary. We will call uh, the Provincial Secretary to tell are you calling for the expulsion of the former President of the ANC? I will not call with Paman. Not really. Remember, uh, 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 when, when, uh, when uh, you, are, you, you are married and then uh, your wife says, I'm st I still love you, but he is married to another man. There's no need for divorce. He has already divorced you. Then you will be engaging in a, in a, in a futile exercise. He's already chosen uh, his path. Uh, but what we can, uh, uh, we, we can, we can say is that, uh, of course, as Klomuga was saying, that uh, it is our duty that we must gain as more members as possible. If we lose one member, each member, each member, members got the value. 
if that member lives in Campex, we, we, we say it's a good thing. Because, for example, you, 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 have, you would have seen in the statement that uh, uh, Community JZ says he has been a, a member of the ANC for 64 years. Even if you know his age, literally that uh, 64 years is the best. That's what he knows. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I know it's going to be very difficult to, it's, it's very difficult to start a new life. Eh? Because firstly, it's going to, he must have to start a, a slogan of saying wrong things about the NC, which it, to him is going to be impossible. Because if he, he can easily say wrong things about the NC, even people who thought he was NC will start to doubt it. How? So quick. You see, if, if, for example, I've been a member of the NC for more than 20 years, it would have to take me more than five years to believe that the NC is wrong. If I leave the NC now, it would have to take me five years to believe that the NC is wrong. Now, for him, for now, until May, or June or July or August, the last day. It's going to be difficult for him to tell people how wrong the ANC is because he has known the ANC nothing else but the ANC. Sorry, follow up. And, and if he does decampaign the ANC, if he does say bad things about the ANC, <coughs> then then do do yeah. what happens then? Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, we'll, um, if um, if he, he does uh, yeah. deal with that, and secondly, uh, Comrade Chaperson, probably where, where do we stand? Uh, in the issue of the sitting president of the ANC. Then let the chair deal with that. Thank you so much, our spokesperson, Gwane. Let us greet the 40 state, the media, and the leadership that is seated in front of here. We are delighted that you are in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, Teguin in particular, during the festivities of December. We are glad that you still have an interest on what is happening in the NC, the league thing organization, and the lead of the society, so the lead of the alliance. We are glad that the entire alliance is present here. I'm sure we must just highlight the historical imperative evidence that even Madiba in the early 90s and when he took over in 94, there was some lamentation from the certain set of the society as to why Madiba is no longer so robust when it comes to the issue of economic transformation. You'll remember that very well. It was the same. It also transited towards Tabon Peggy's presidency. He was also blamed of failing dismally to ascertain the issue of the land transformation. It was the same with Namalala. He was also blamed and lambasted for having failed to lift the matter of economic transformation. So it's the same with President Ramaphosa. But we want to assure you that as the province of KwaZulu-Natal, we're fully behind the Commander-in-Chief, President Ramaphosa, is this province. We are fully behind that as the face of the campaign going to 2024, we are going to achieve victory. The, press, the provincial secretary has already highlighted that he will be addressing in KwaZulu-Natal during the manifesto launch because he is the face of the ANC. On the issue of ill discipline, I'm sure you're also aware that President Mamalala, when immediately was elected as the president, it means in terms of our constitution, he holds a befitting office of being an ex official towards the NEC. So he's the property of the NEC, not the province of KwaZulu Natal. As the province of KwaZulu Natal, we have supported all the means and needs for a revolutionary to be in process, but we are clinical in this process that we are going to be fully behind our NEC led by Matamela. The SG has already highlighted a lot of achievements that have been achieved historically by the ANC and what we are going to achieve going forward. Thank you so much, Juan. Siabonga, Estalo. Tambe, before I uh, close, I would like to allow the chairperson of uh, Amasoja to have uh, a brief reflection, and then I will, I will come back, I will come back to the, I will come back to the follow-up. <clears throat> Uh, thank you to everyone and greeting to the leadership uh, of the ANC and the Alliance and greeting to the <clears throat> media people. No, actually, I, I will be very brief myself because already our ANC have made a statement. So, as we are still in the ANC up until maybe then I, I'm not I'm not saying there will be maybe but actually what the, the, the posture which the NEC have take that we are still in the NEC, there is nothing that we have engaged in our structures, we still are supporting the NC and we will support the NC up until the election and moving forward. That's all I want to say. I thank you. Chairman Siabonga. 
uh, maybe I will take uh, the last round. I will uh, again. The principle is to always start on the left because left is revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will be number one. Is there any other hand? I'm taking the last round. Number one, number two, and then you will uh, sweep uh, 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 as per month. <laughs> Number one. Kumani <laughs> Tobe is my name. I am from the Kumani Tobe show on YouTube. The former president Jacob Zuma is a man that has faced many, many challenges. And the ANC, in KZN particularly, has been one of his strongest supporters. That's a well known fact. And he has now divorced himself from the organization in the way that he did over the weekend. Do you feel that he has let you down? And uh, do you regret your decision to support him in the way that you supported him over the years when they were so Number two. Okay, we'll see again from the <laughs> Just to get your reaction uh, regarding Zuma's comments that he made uh, on the leadership of the AAC, uh, calling them uh, as people who are leading government that is laden with, with uh, apartheid collaborators. Um, yeah, just that, and also if you are really uh, concerned and worried about uh, the latest development regarding the uh, Zuma, how is it? Thank you. Spamanda. Spamanda from EMCA again. There are a number of things that the former president is raising, and some of those include that he says Umbutoga Tango is no longer the same. He says the party is taking a new direction, they are following a new tendencies. Have you reflected on some of the things he raised about the direction that the AMC, according to him, has taken? And some of those were raised by have you reflected on those? Are you still happy with the cause and the direction that Umbutoka Chambo is taking? Thank you. Um, the first uh, question, Lord uh, Umdane, is Noma Kuku. Thank you very much. My figure. I think I'll, I will respond to the question raised by Upumlan. We are definitely disappointed. We, you know, in the ANC, when there are challenges at any given time, all the time, our first point of call is to say, let's go and consult with our elders. And those that have led before us, we always consider them as people who are able to provide us with guidance, and every time you go to any of them, including Ngamalala, by the way, as we would go to him, he would be able to, he would often tell us that the challenges you are faced with have always been there or within the ANC in one form or the other. Therefore, you must be able to stay the course, be strategic, and lead. We, you know, he, and, and this is what he would also say, an organization that is 111 years old will have history. And at one point or the other, the ANC would have faced some situation that uh, would be very difficult and some situation that would reflect and shake its, its own uh, uh, course. But Malal, through, her gui through his guidance, would always say to us, when you are elected to lead, you must be able to lead and you must be able to navigate the challenges that are there. It is on those basis that we are extremely uh, uh, disappointed on the, on the pronouncement and the course that uh, has been taken. Of course, some of the issues that he has raised are issues that he has raised uh, with the leadership and some of them are issues that the leadership uh, have been engaging with him and, and, and to, to try and, and navigate. Do we regret supporting him? Definitely not. When, as a province of KwaZulu Natal, supported Ungamalala in 2005, it was based on principle. It was not based on a cult. 
It was not based on individualism, but it was based on a principle that we believed was correct at the time and was still correct even today. When a decision was, was taken to actually support Ngamalala, it was correct then and it is still correct now uh, on why we supported him. So, you know, we, 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 we don't regret having supported him when we did because we thought at the time, and we still do, it was in the best interest of the ANC. And by the way, had we not supported him when we did, a lot of issues would have affected the ANC adversely. And as a result of our support, a trajectory that was taking the ANC in a different direction was indeed a, a deferred, or we were able to stop it and be able to uh, provide a proper direction to the ANC. So no, we do, we do not regret our support at the time. Thank you, uh, Comrade Deputy Chair, Comrade Nopala, on uh, collaborators. Maybe you are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, eh. thanks. Eh. Uh, you see, when you are in a discomfort position or you are visited by some, 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 some anger, you, sometimes you say things you don't mean. I will, I will tell you why. Let's start, with, let's start with the initial executive of the county, for example. If you quote uh, the, the current president of the, of, the, of the country, he was appointed by President Zuma in 2014 as the deputy president of the republic. That it tells you that uh, with his experience, somebody was part of the director of intelligence in the ANC, who have been in underground, who was elected in the ANC in 1973 at his uh, uh, mid-30s, there's no way you would betray the struggle and the revolution to appoint an apartheid collaborator. Mm -hmm. Then we trust him. He could not have done that. For, for, for him to appoint him, to give him that responsibility, we are clear that at least uh, we, you come to the deputy president, he once appointed him a minister of arts and culture, which is the highest honor. In any country to be appointed in the national executive, his highest honor an individual can be bestowed by, by head of state in that country. Then we are sure he could not have done that. If we, it would have been trial of the revolution. You can go to Mandashe, he was his SG for two terms. Uh, and then there's no way he could be, he could trust that the organization at the engine at that level, he can be a president with an SG who's a collaborator. Then it's, it's, it clears the matters. You go to the first DSG, Comrade Nomvula, same thing, he was appointed was a, was a premier at some point, was a minister of water and sanitation. You go to Mbalula. In fact, Mbalula was once a minister of police. You can't give someone a minister of police as a head of state, as a commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Yet you know you are giving some voters a, 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 a collaborate. And if you look at the cabinet, the national executive, almost less than 30% people who have not been appointed by uh, uh, Comrade Zuma. Then for that evidence and for that what I'm explaining, it tells you that maybe it was a slip of the tongue, maybe whatever that he said, but I don't think he means it himself because if he means it, some of us would be worried with where this someone we trusted so much as the ANC, but he betrayed the revolution of appointing uh, apartheid collaborators in various key institutions of state in, in the cabinet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Dopala. Uh, Comrade Stan, is the ANC still the same or no longer the same? Thank you so much, Baba Koke. I'm sure you understand the issue of organic principle and the evolution in any historical matter. I'm sure the ANC is the same. It was developed, manufactured, the concept at effort in 1909. In 1912, there was a conference. And you also understand on the formulation, our course were at the center, our fundis were at the center, and those who were educated, the teachers of that time, were at the center. It had to evolve at some point in time to be a mass organization. I'm sure you know that it started in the early 40s, and when the ANC you click of Antony Lambert stood and have a program of action, it had to change and take some strategic movement. But the ANC is still the same in 91. It came in the province of KwaZulu Natal with the National Conference or Art Humbo delivered as a solid organization united. Amongst other things, he analyzes that the material condition when you take over the state, 
there will be some dimension, there will be some changes, which is why you must also understand that you have a two in one. You've got the liberation movement, the ANC, then you have an ANC as the ruling party. Of course, from time to time, you'll find some fundamental pillars of us advancing and coherently in ensuring that we change people's life, which is why we have built houses, we have built bridges, we have documented even the proper history of South Africa as a country. We, at some point in time, went international relations in ensuring to defend even those, like the issue of Palestine as we speak. It is still the same ANC, which is why Comrade President, President Ramaphosa is able to see and tell Macron that you are the cause of perpetuating crime against humanities in this generation, which is why President Ramaphosa is able to tell Benjamin Netanyahu that what you are doing is not correct. You are still perpetuating apartheid regime against the country called Palestine. So we are still there. Of course, you'll see some new changes because ANC, as it develops, it will attract other things. So it's not correct. It's not a correct narrative because it was said during Zuma's era that the ANC has changed. We defied that. It was said during Madiba that it was changed. So we are saying that, of course, ANC as a movement on its own is able to cleanse and its own is able to critique then always come up with a galvanized strategy of ensuring that we lead the people in a true format as an ordinary South African citizen are enjoying the privilege that was fought for our liberators. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Comrade Chair. Uh, with that, uh, we hope to invite you next year, May, in a massive press conference where we'll announce uh, we will be swearing in, in fact, the Premier of Kwazum Natal after our decisive victory, which we are going to increase with 5%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isul. Uh, can you just do one on one? Yeah, yeah you'll do one on one. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs>